chess-playing supercomputer Deep Blue has just defeated the Grandmaster Garry Kasparov at chess, is claiming a feat akin to landing on the moon or being the first person to climb Mount Everest. Some claim this is a new kind of intelligence, the first sign that computers may be able to think creatively in a way that rivals our own minds. If this is true, what implications does it have for our future? Our science correspondent Susan Watts reports. Chess has long epitomised the pinnacle of human intellectual endeavour. In the 1970s, the Fischer-Spassky games became the civilian equivalent of a clash between the superpowers. In these post-Cold War days, it's not Soviet versus American, but man against machine. No longer nation versus nation, but humankind against the computer chip. For IBM, it was a remarkable achievement. In the late 1950s, computer scientists thought it would take only 10 years to beat the world champion. In fact, it's taken 40 years, with more programming hours thought to have gone into chess than into the space effort. You can understand Kasparov being upset. This was the first time he's ever lost a chess match. Deep blue, Kasparov, after the move C4, has resigned. I proved to be vulnerable. So, you know, when I see something that is well beyond my understanding, I'm scared. And that was something well beyond my understanding. And perhaps in the end it was the very yeah, was fact that Deep Blue is a machine that defeated Kasparov. This game uh, has been different because, it, in a sense, it has got to Kasparov. Kasparov is well known as a, 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 a grandmaster who can outsight his opponent. Now, in this case, this has not been possible because Deep Blue has no consciousness, it has no feeling, and therefore he, he couldn't sort of win against it or come to uh, bear down upon it psychologically. It's my turn for breakfast this morning, Gromit. And I...